Okay, I went and checked the parts list. And looks like I have got these bases the wrong way around. I did mention it actually when I did the assembly video previously. It's very hard to tell actually even from the parts diagram because it doesn't say which one is the bigger spacer. So it's both two spacers and one's big and one's small but it doesn't say which is which. Start again. Comes off, these all come off. grease all over here but oh yeah I know where my grease went it's in the grease gun the trouble is one of the smaller of these will just slip in from the outside and uh, then you put the um, as you can see it just goes right through um, then you put the roller bearing in, and then you put the big spacer outside that, it looks like. And that means... Oh yeah, that's right. It means the spacer is... Um, the tension is applied from the outside. Let's make sure I've got that shape in place. First thing, first thing is place this shoe in the groove and then start to place the shaft in through it. There we go. Put in the pulley section with its pegs. Pegs are engaged. Well this time we don't have to worry about the spacer. It should just be a matter of just pushing it straight, straight in. It should be very straightforward. Which I thought it was last time. Now I've got to get that um, keyway to line up. Look for that little dimple again, which I should be able to feel. Here it is. Hmm. Okay, in the 12 o'clock position. And where's that spindle? That uh, keyway. Keyway. The key has to go into. There we go. So, now the spindle is in. We don't have to put that spacer in, thank goodness. Instead, we put the small spacer in here, on the outside, and push it in against that gear wheel on the inside. Then we put on the ball bearing race, with its usual dollops of grease, if I can find any. And it's a tight fit on there. This comes in. Let's put it on the end, which is usually easier. Give something to hammer against. Okay. Pretty tight fit on the shaft, those uh, bearings. Now this big spacer just plonks on the outside, I gather. Yeah. Now there's lots of thread left over to put these two nuts on. No problem. Should have listened to my own instructions. It's funny you get some idea fixed in your head and you just don't want to give it up. Same applies in medicine too actually about a diagnosis. Once you've made you just think you've made your mind up about what the diagnosis is, if you're wrong, you may be very reluctant reluctant to change your mind. Which can lead to mistakes. Engaged. Good. 
engage, engage. Perfect. Okay, now I'm feeling a lot happier. Uh, I've got to do that, um, do up that Allen key that holds the pulleys in place. There's, apparently there should be two in here, but I've only got one. Boxwood has a special technique of putting um, one of these um, screws, scrub screws, on top of another as a lock, as a lock, and often people don't know about that. And curse and swear because they can't get the pulley off and end up breaking the pulley and having to make a new one and all that. How do we know that? that it's gripping properly. It does seem a bit, uh, a bit feeble as a way of connecting the main drive. Or is it? It isn't actually because the drive is going through the pegs into the spindle uh, uh, and it's held on with that keyway. So the drive is actually through that keyway. And the pulleys when the pins are disengaged, which we can do, now disengaged, the pulleys just run free. So why do we have that, uh, that, that grub screw in there at all? I wonder if it's just holding together different components of the four pulley system. Now I discovered I could actually see the bottom of the shoe in the, underneath here. And there it is, I can see it and it looks like it's in place. Bringing some grease all along that uh, selector groove where the bronze bush, bronze shoe uh, rides. Okay, I think that's all assembled. I've now got to put the back gear in. I'll put the cover plates back on. Okay, now I've got to put the back gear in. And this time I'm not putting the V-belt in because I'm going to use a um, belt that has links that you take apart, a link belt. bearing. Good. Yeah, I guess I'll probably have to loosen off that screw. I can't do that without loosening a lock nut. There's a lock nut under here, which I have to loosen. So then I can loosen the screw, and then I can fit the ball bearing in. And I'll have to worry about Pushing the shaft over the ball bearing. Put the ball bearing in from this end. That's done. Yeah. Four piece. How do you determine? Position eccentric. 
Oh yeah, the thing to do probably would have been to put the handle on the shaft first. Yeah. So now we just put this plate on this end to stop it becoming disengaged. I'll just cut the shaft coming right out. This is non-back gear mode. Back gear mode goes this way. I don't feel that ball bearing blocking in because I haven't done up the bolt. Can't get a grip on this because it's so slippery. Mm, now the ball bearing's really jamming in there. The trouble is the ball bearing is not exactly the right size. I think it may be a little small. And it doesn't work that well. Because I think I must have lost the ball last time. Hmm, it sort of works. It doesn't feel ideal. I wonder if I should take that ball out and see if I've got another one that's a little bit bigger. The spring's a bit mangled up, isn't it? Bye-bye. Yeah. Now it fits off perfectly. I have to tighten it up a bit tighter. Clean piece of rag. Clean kerosene. Give it a bit of a last minute wipe down. Because it was covered in grease, it's uh, more likely to drop out of your hands having all that weight getting it onto the lathe. So once I get this on, the next job will be to um, set up the wiring for the speed control. And I'm still waiting for the parts to arrive to, from China. And um, importantly, I just heard on the news a few minutes ago that uh, shipping is being held up because they hadn't expected such a big increase in, in um, orders occurring after the lockdown. They 
cut out all the shipping during lockdown and now they don't want to start them back up again. Okay, so I think that's uh, ready to install and it's only about 10 o'clock at night so I might as well do it straight away. I'm going to wash my hands first, they're less slippery. <laughs> 